Hey everybody, I uh, got two more boxes of uh, halves and uh, I'm going to start going through them. I'm going to start over here. I don't see any enders, but uh, I'll uh, go start on these, start going through them, and then uh, as soon as I uh, find something good, I'll get back with you. Okay, there's my first empty box. Um, and they've been enrolled and transferred over there. And I got two 2003Ps, a 2003D, 2004D, and a 2006P. Just uh, not in tender circulation. Got skunked on silver on that box. So, uh, on to the next. Well, I've gotten through uh, about that many of uh, that box. And I've gotten a couple more NISCs. There's 2006 and 2011. Uh, and I just picked up a an NIFC. It's 2002, but it's an S, so it's a proof. Um, you can see the shiny background there, but it it's in really rough, rough condition. But I'll probably hang on to it, being that it's an S mint mark and a proof. So on to the next one. Still no silver. Well, I got that far before I finally found what looks to be silver. You can. See that edge right there? Really sharp, shiny edge. So, it might be 90, but it's kind of got a coppery look to it. Oh, 1968. D. Looks like in brilliant uncirculated condition. That's a 40 percenter. I'll take it. And I didn't see anything else in this roll, so I'll get back to you on the next one. Well, another box down. Um, I got those NIFCs, one uh, 2002 NIFC proof, and it's in pretty poor shape. I'll try to clean it up a little bit, but ain't much you can do with them. Uh, and this one, uh, BU 1968, 40% silver yeah, it's a nice looking coin but um, can't all be boxes full of silver so uh, next time I get a couple boxes I'll get back with you and uh, do another video on a side note I uh, did break out the metal detector today my a friend of mine's uh, brother-in-law had lost his uh, wedding ring in his backyard <clears throat> in a, another town about 45 minutes from here and I was having to be in town today anyway to pick up these coins and uh, pick up some firewood and things. Um, so he had a general location of where it was in that backyard and uh, fired with the machine. It was uh, uh, gold and uh, uh, tungsten carbide, I believe, was the other material on, on the ring. So that's the reason he hadn't had it sized because it, you can't size tungsten carbide. But um, anyway, it uh, took me about five minutes or less, and and uh, I had it located for him. He he was surprised. He said he'd crawled all over the place out on that yard looking. But, I mean, if you got one little spot where a ring like this is sitting down in the grass and it's covered up with leaves and grass, it's easy to miss that one little tiny spot when you're looking on your hands and knees. So... Uh, Anyway, I was glad I could help him out and return his ring to him and uh, kind of made the day complete. Uh, next time I get a couple boxes, like I said, I'll make another video. Take care.